Halfway through the 2021 season, and McLaren driver Lando Norris is sitting in third position in the World Drivers' Championship. Not a bad effort for a 22-year-old in his third F1 season. So let's take a closer look at the British favourite with the compliments of Canity.com, the world's best online staff training platform. How well do you know Lando Norris? Because after this video, you're going to know him a whole lot better. For a start, the young driver was born on the 13th of November 1999. That makes him 22 years of age. And how's he gone in 2021? Well, he scored points in 10 of the first 11 races. And he was looking pretty good for more points in uh, the last race in Hungary. But of course, he got taken out in that first corner melee. If you take that race out of it, his lowest finish this year was eighth position and he's had three podium finishes. If you step it back to 2017, he won the F3 European Championship. In 2018, he was runner-up to George Russell in F2. In that year, he was announced the junior reserve driver for McLaren, and in 2019, stepped up for his first season. He scored his first ever points in Bahrain in 2019, finishing sixth. His first podium was in Austria in 2020, where he finished third. And his three podiums this year came at the Emilia Romana Grand Prix, the Monaco GP, and the Austrian GP. And currently, he's five points ahead of Valtteri Bottas. Having been at McLaren for two and a half years earlier this year, it was announced that he had a three-year extension to his contract. And with the McLaren car on the improve, Anything is possible for this young driver. But why is Lando so popular? I think it's his openly warm nature. He's almost always smiley, happy, openly shows his emotion, and particularly on the grid here, where he's still got that youthful enthusiasm where perhaps he hasn't become jaded after years in the sport. He is very much focused on his racing. As far as anyone can tell, he doesn't have a girlfriend. And he says openly that he'd rather stay at home and game than head out on the town and party. He doesn't take himself too seriously. If he has a bad race, he'll make some funny jokes about it online. Uh, speaking of online, on Instagram, he has 3.6 million followers. In fact, there are only five other drivers with more followers, and they are Daniel Ricciardo, Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Lewis Hamilton. That's only four. Yeah, I know, I miscounted. You need to fix it. It's only four. Recently, he announced he'd be stepping back from social media to concentrate on driving, leaving all of that up to his company that does that, and that is We Are Grip out of Britain. And this is Jason Bibby. He's the man that does a lot of Lando's socials. When it comes to mainstream media, I find him to be very mature, certainly for a 22-year-old, and he can handle almost anyone's questioning in the media pen. Let's talk about the people around Lando. For a start, his trainer, John Malvin from Pioneered Athletic Performance. John's been with him for a number of years now and actually started karting as a kid but ended up giving it up because as he openly admits, he got to a stage where he's morbidly obese. He was 28 kilos over the weight required to fit into a go-kart. But have a look at the man now. He's certainly in peak physical condition. And if you're wondering where I am now, this is a marina in Korchula, Croatia. So yes, there's a bit of noise in the background. What about his management? Well, he's managed by ad management, and most often you'll see him with one of the partners in ad, and that is Mark Berryman here. The other partner is Fraser, but I've only spotted Fraser at one race. On the media side of things, he's often seen with Charlotte Sefton, who is the head of communications at McLaren, and he also enjoys a marvelous relationship with Zach Brown. Here he is in France in 2019, and last year in Austria. What about his family? Well, his father, Adam Norris, is one of his biggest sponsors and has supported his racing career over the years. Adam ran British company Pensions Direct and in just three years or so built it up to be the most successful pensions advice organisation. He backed Lando into the test driving seat and into the full-time seat in 2019. Lando's mum? Here she is. This is Siska. Born in Belgium, and while I've seen Lando's dad at one race this year, I've not seen mum at any. Not to say she hasn't been there, but she certainly hasn't been visible to me. He has two sisters, both younger than him. This is Flo, who is a show jumper, and his younger sister, Siska. Brothers? Yes, just one, Oliver, older, and uh, he's involved in the family business Pure Scooters. And if you haven't seen Pure Scooters, a number of the F1 drivers own them and I've spotted Lando driving them up and down the paddock from time to time as well. Oh, and Lando's on track to be an uncle later this year because uh, Oliver's partner, Savannah, is pregnant. 
One of the great things about Lando has been his relationship with Carlos Sainz, his teammate, for two years in 2019 and 2020. It's one of the closest, most genuine mateships I've seen, and others tell me it's rare in the sport. Have a look at this picture. This is Carlos and Lando interacting via some graffiti on some pictures at the Japanese GP of 2019. Now I've seen that relationship blossom, certainly in my time photographing in 2019, a 2020 off, and this year I've even found them to be still great mates, despite the fact that they are racing on different teams. He also gets on well with Max Verstappen, and uh, here's a fun interaction I shot in 2019 in Japan of Max deliberately nudging him at an autograph session. If you're doing a lot of travelling and visiting countries with different power plugs, get one of these, an all-in-one unit. It's got every single plug that you'll need, plus you can plug in two USB cables. One of the most popular photos I've taken is this one of Lando coming out of the tunnel in Monaco earlier this year. But Lando is certainly very popular with you, the audience here on YouTube and on Instagram. Changing topic here, do you know what an NFT is, a non-fungible token? Well, some of my best images are available as NFTs right now. You can head to OpenSea and have a look, and if you buy it, you own that NFT and can sell it down the track, hopefully for a profit. Let's talk about the marketing of Lando. He has his own logo, as all the drivers do, and as you can see here, the number four is cleverly hidden inside that logo. You'll find it here on his cap and on his helmet. He wears Sparco race suits and shoes, and as you can see here, has the St George Cross on this pair. And when he's not in team kit, he's often wearing his own clothing line with the Quadrant logo on it. And when I posted this particular picture, there was much interest from you guys about his high tops. So how has he got to the tracks this year? Well, it ranges anywhere from on foot in Baku to a scooter in Monaco. And vehicle-wise, what's he driven to the track? Well, it's been a variety uh, that includes a Nissan Patrol, a Volvo sedan, and of course, a couple of McLarens. And interestingly, on a number of occasions, he drives in on his own. Other times, he'll just passenger in with his trainer and manager. What's he wearing on his wrists? Watch-wise, Richard Mill because they sponsor the team. Now this watch, I believe, is the one that was stolen in that mugging on the night of the Euro 2020 Championship at Wembley, where he was threatened with a knife. They took his watch, but left the car. But prior to him wearing that watch, and now post him having it stolen, I photographed him wearing an 1103. These are high-end watches worth well over 100,000 US dollars. And at some races, he'll wear this sort of thing on his right wrist. And what about the milk reference? Well, that all came about after a WTF1 interview where he mentioned that uh, his fridge was full of milk. Does he do a track walk? Yes, he does. He's one of the 14 or so drivers that walk the track each Thursday, and he'll do that sometimes with his race engineer. Other times, he'll have a handful of people with him. When did I take my first pic of him? That would have been in Abu Dhabi in 2017, where he was walking the track in the early evening. So what does the future hold for Lando Norris? Well, certainly he's uh, managed to outshine his much more experienced teammate in Daniel Ricciardo this year. Whether he can keep that up is anybody's guess, but if the car continues to improve, who's to say that he won't be a world champion in two or three years' time? With that said, I'm going to ask you to like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so, and remember, if you join as a VIP member, you get access to some exclusive videos raw images from different races and a handful of wallpapers every month. You'll find my digital images for both editorial and personal use at ProStarPix.com. Photo books are available at KimIllman.com where you'll also find some merchandise. And for my best pics live from the track and all during the week, head to Instagram and search at Kim Illman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. number of times handle journalists in the media pen 